This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to make custom YouTube thumbnails. First of all, the dimensions, 1280 by 720 uh, pixels, and you want to make sure that you keep that resolution around 30 to 32. That way you can keep the file size down. Uh, otherwise, YouTube will not let you upload it. The file size will be too big. Now that you have your canvas sized out, let's add a picture. I'm going to go to my desktop and add a sleeping dogs picture that I downloaded off the internet. And uh, throughout this tutorial, I'm going to do different things to this picture to change it and make it uh, different and uh, visually pleasing at the same time. Now, the picture itself is awesome. I love this picture, but I did not want to use it as my thumbnail because it wouldn't work if I wanted to put text and all sorts of stuff um, over top of it. It just wasn't work. It, it wouldn't work out. It'd be too visually hectic. What I'm doing now is I did a diffuse glow and photocopy effect in Photoshop. Uh, CS4 is what I'm using. From here on, I'm going to go ahead and I think I add my text next. No. No, I add this. Uh, I added a blank layer and then I went to my um, paint bucket tool. I went from foreground to pattern. I added a dot pattern and then I went to edit, transform, warp. And I'm going to give it a fisheye, uh, kind of like an inverse fisheye effect. This is going to come in handy. Uh, when you want to put some texture to your uh, photos without having to put some a a, uh, a pattern over it, this is just a better way of going around and doing that. Put a subtle texture to it that will only add to the visual um, effect of the uh, the overall design. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm doing right here. I think when I had added that pattern, it didn't really give me the right effect, but later on in the video, I'm going to do something and change around a few other things to make it look better. That pattern is definitely going to come into play later on in the video. Stick with me, people. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the text now. Uh, it's just uh, Sleeping Dog's final mission. I think it's Final Mission gameplay. I'm nowhere near the Final Mission in Sleeping Dogs, but as a as an example, this is just what I did. This is the first thing that came to mind. And after I add my text, I'm going to go ahead and do some layer styles to actually make the text easier to read. Right now, looking at the screen, you may be able to read it. You may not. It looks bland and it's um, actually conflicting with the background. You're not really able to sleep to see the Sleeping Dogs Final Mission gameplay, mostly because of the Sleeping Dogs logo in the background. First thing I'm going to do is add a stroke. Right there, you can see how easy it, it made the the um, the text. It made it easier to read just by putting a black stroke around the letters. One point is basically all you need to really get that effect. Don't want to go crazy with that because it will look like it will make your letters look fat and um, really obese. And unless you really want that look, I would stay away from making the stroke big. Um, <laughs> Right now, what I'm doing is I'm adding a drop shadow. Also, stay away from the glow. Um, making your text glow, using that glow, it, it gets cheesy and it looks very simple. Uh, not simple, but it looks stupid after a while. Uh, so, uh, instead of using the glow option, try for a drop shadow, change the angle on it, and then go from there. Um, what am I doing? I'm adding some blur right here. Uh, not too much. Again, don't want to oh, go. You don't want to go overkill on any of these effects. You just want to make it so you want to get the desired effect without um, going to the extreme. Because if you go extreme, people will more than likely not want to see it. Uh, and a lot of people just you might not care. I mean, it's a YouTube thumbnail, but for me, if I'm making it, I want it to look really good. So I took extra time to make sure that I did just enough 
to get the desired effect without going crazy. Uh, what's next? What are we doing now? Right now, I'm going to make a layer, a blank layer over top of the background sleeping dogs layer. I'm going to reset my brushes and hold on. What did I do? Yeah, I was going crazy here for a second. I was working on this for a little while. I kept trying to record it, but it kept messing up because the frame rate was too high. Okay, right now, I put the hardness all the way down and I'm making sure it's bigger because I'm going to... um spray some color on the background image like you'll see here in a second i took about four or five colors and i sprayed them on the background image and after i get finished doing that what i'm going to do with that layer is i'm going to change the style of it to color which is going to incorporate those colors into the background image not over top of them if that sounds crazy give me a second here and you'll understand what i'm talking about <clears throat> I made a few uh, thumbnails here and there. Uh, it's definitely something that I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep doing because you have to make sure that you uh, m you make it visually pleasing, but at the same time you let the viewer know exactly what's going on in the video without too much text or you know crazy text or anything like that. Um, so keep in mind that you have custom thumbnails that's cool but at the same time you want to actually deliver a message while doing it so keep your colors cool keep them you know um make them visually pleasing but don't overdo it and see right now um i went to color which incorporated those colors into the background of the um the sleeping dogs background not the background of the background but the sleeping dogs background itself instead of over top of them like i had uh here i'm going to mess around with the uh the pattern layer i want my text to be above the pattern layer uh because i don't want it affecting the text the text is what the people are actually going to be looking at so i don't want that to be obstructed and i go to what was that color dodge so i can give it the uh luminance and uh, just make it stand out all of this can be done within Photoshop CS4 if you can find a copy of that uh, they have CS6 out now it's kind of it's it's fairly expensive it's um it may be less than $200 but it's close to $200 so keep that in mind I don't know of any other programs that you can use that can give you the same effect as Photoshop but there are other programs out there to where you can just throw together a thumbnail really quick. Just make sure you have the right dimensions. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. Let me know if this video helps you out or if I can make any other videos to help you guys out. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.